Hello, I'm Josh, and I am a science teacher who is now a biblical creationist, and the shift from being someone who's educated, teaching science, to someone who believes what I do now, it took a lot of powerful miracles, some humbling of myself, and going from believing all things to proving all things, because you have to be careful what you ask for. I asked the Father to show me the truth about creation, no matter how crazy it sounds, and he did just that. And since the journey started, the proofs have been piling up. I had no clue that proving all things would be as fun and as scientific as it is, it's because proving all things is literally the new scientific method. If you believe something, go out and prove it. In our whole lives, we were believing things based on pictures that were provided to us directly from the government. So you investigate their proof, it falls apart. And then you start trying to prove the truth about creation, that the world is immovable, that there's a firmament above. And for me, what really does it is more than just what the Bible says. It's going out and trying to prove it and seeing that we have footage of this firmament. It has been captured on video. Not only that, there's declassified documents that speak of this same barrier. There's scientists who have said that they have found this barrier or detected it. And of course, NASA comes out with a cover story that it's just a man-made bubble surrounding Earth. Don't worry about it. And people buy that. They believe that. And so once you start finding that footage and the proofs we have of it, that leads you to look at the surface of the Earth we live on. Of course, it's not perfectly flat. There's many elevation changes. But when you go to the water, you see that we have people like Guglielmo Marconi back in 1901 sending a line of sight signal, meaning this signal only travels in straight lines across the entire Atlantic. And since then, using the exact same technology, we have shot signals from England to Australia. And every time you're going to hear the excuse that it's refraction, but refraction has limits. To me, that is proof that the water is flat on the surface. And if that's not good enough, you can have lasers or really powerful light sources, take them to a lake, whether it's frozen or not, and shoot them straight across at elevations that should be impossible and we are doing that repeatedly, and it's scientific evidence that is compiling to support the truth about creation, that our world is immovable, and that there is a firmament above us. And if that's not enough, you can look to the other proofs of the globe as well, like the Foucault pendulum, and look into things like the Elias effect, where you see it's what's above us causing these things to be impacted. When there's an eclipse, it changes the way these things rotate, and according to the globe model, it shouldn't have any impact, but it's what's moving above us causing these things to act the way they do. That's why when they brought these things down to the South Pole, they went the wrong direction. The scientists experimented with it. It went the wrong direction at the South Pole. They did it again, and it was half the time that it was supposed to be. So they have to manipulate it to get it to prove what they believed it was going to prove in the first place. But with the truth about creation, we don't have to do that. We can fly planes any direction without ever accounting for curve or rotation whatsoever because it doesn't exist. The world is, as the Bible says, it's immovable, and this is provable. You just have to humble yourself, do the research, do the experiments, and make the observations that will prove that, and it will cause you to become a fool to this world just like many of us have, and it's worth it because the wisdom of this world is foolishness to our Father. And so it actually sets you free to let that worldly wisdom go.